Well, hello, friends. We are sitting here. Hello. After we got done cooking. Um, we're just having a cup of coffee. Tracy's having a cigarette. It's going right in my face. <laughs> anyway, um, we're just sitting here having some coffee, and we were talking, and we thought, why don't we just include you in our little coffee clutch? <laughs> is that what it is? It looks like it's going to rain out this afternoon. It does. I got my bird feeders all full. We're sitting in my living room. And if you see the puzzle behind me, and I got a puzzle. Where is it? Where is it? If I point to it on the camera, right over there. Uh, remember when we put them together? Oh, yeah. We did puzzles. Wasn't it during the pandemic? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did that. We did a mushroom one. You still got the mushroom yep, one? I do. And yeah. a rock one. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, I got a rock one, too. We did all kinds of puzzles. We did all kinds of stuff during the pandemic. Yeah, and it rocks. And we never got COVID, did you? Nope. Nope, because you know what I did? <laughs> I didn't care. And I don't care who knows. I got my vaccines. I got mine. Because I dragged her there. I said, you're getting it. I don't care. I'm not losing you. Um, you're getting it. So we went and got her and my and our friend Pickle. Yep. We all went and got it. I'm vaccinated, boosted. I don't think we need any more now, you know, but I don't got my booster yet. I got mine because my mom had cancer and she was so sick. Yeah. And then you know what happened? She got her vaccine too. She wound up with COVID. Remember that? She was in a hospital for like a month. And this was about four months before she passed away. Yeah. She wound up with COVID. I don't know. And I never got it. I don't know how. I have no idea. Unless they, she got exposed to it up at chemo treatments. That could have been. Yeah, that could have been. Because I didn't go with her. Nobody was allowed to go with her then. But boy, was she sick. Anyway, we were talking about, um, oh, look at the little goldfinch. Oh, yeah. Oh, too bad I didn't, couldn't show you. got a cute little goldfinch right out there. <laughs> I'm out my tranny to get some thistle thistle seed for them. But anyway, Tracy's going camping, and you and your daughter and all the kids. Yeah. And we were talking about other things we could send with her for meals. And I said, "Hey, um, have you ever had Hoover stew? That that's a poor man's meal, but it will feed a crew. I'm telling you." And she didn't even know it was. I don't know if any of you know what Hoover Stew is. Hoover Stew is good. All it is is macaroni, elbow macaroni, and hot dogs, and uh, corn or mixed vegetables if you want. Uh, diced tomatoes. That's about it. And hot dogs. Or sausage if you want. But the, the original Hoover Stew has diced tomatoes, corn, and hot dogs in it. Because, of course, during the Depression, okay. hot dogs were cheap. Yeah. Hot dogs have always been cheap till now. Yeah. No. <laughs> that was almost cheap. a luxury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then when we were talking about Hoover Stew, we, we got to talking about the things we ate when we were young. And uh, people nowadays, they buy a lot of boxed meals and microwave meals and Microwaves were a luxury. It they? was. That was a luxury in a rich man's house. There was we didn't have a microwave. Yeah, I didn't either. Uh -uh. Everything was scratch made, and uh, now you can buy microwave meals. Yeah, <laughs> already done almost. Uh, yeah, and, and my mom said one time she was when she was working a gal. She she had made something for their potluck at work. And uh, the gal says, you can cook without a microwave? Because my mother never owned a microwave, <laughs> ever. And my mother's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> the girl couldn't cook without a microwave. I did, that just tears me up. But some of the young generation, that's, all they, that's how they grew yeah. up. Yeah. I grew up, and so did you. No microwave. No I'm microwave and everything scratch made. Mm -hmm. That was it. Oh, my God. If we got a box of macaroni and cheese, that was like, mm -hmm. you know, Christmas. Yeah. Remember that? Remember my we dad. had, but you know what? You couldn't beat the government cheese. Oh, then. no, you couldn't. The government cheese, they used to give you um, the big five-pound blocks of cheese. 
and butter and peanut butter. And you said rice. You yeah, got rice. rice. Yeah, my, I remember the pasta. You'd make the cheese, uh, grilled, grilled cheese sandwich. Grilled cheese and, and then uh, macaroni and cheese. Oh, oh yeah, we had the macaroni and cheese. You couldn't beat that stuff. And then she uh, and told her that we, uh, when we used to make it with macaroni and cheese, and still when I use that government cheese for macaroni and cheese, I always put a little bit of mustard in it. <laughs> if you don't like mustard. I said, you can't taste it. You can use the mustard powder. You know, the mustard powder is a little different. And it, but it gives it a good flavor. Mmm. I'm tired of just putting all that stuff together. <laughs> but when my kids were little, oh my goodness. I really did rely on... You didn't have like you did now, like you were no. saying. You, you didn't have the food pantries and the food banks and Feeding America and... and None of that. Mm -mm. You'd be begging on DHS doorstep for a little bit of food stamps, and then they'd act like it was coming out of their pocket. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. I remember them days... And we'd make meals. Man, we could whip together a meal on nothing. As there's times that all my kids had for dinner was pancakes, but they never went to bed without, you know, a full belly. Right. It just, you know, just the way it was. What are you doing? Nothing. Are you playing on that phone? No. My daughter she's, just texted me. She's texting. Did you the bunny was ready? Yeah, I did. It, uh, she said one of our friends from Muskegon is in, is in one of our patients. Oh. Anyway, I wanted to do, um, <clears throat> I don't know, now we did that today. Um, well. It's raining out. Oh, yeah. Isn't that nice? I love that. We need that. We do. We really do. Anyway, um, there's a few other things in the pantry that you guys always gather and give to me to give away. And that's, uh, well, the, the I had 12, 12 cans, didn't we yeah. do today? We did 12 cans of salmon for salmon patties. You're going to take some yeah. to give to your daughter because her daughter struggles just like the rest of us, you know, struggles to put food on the table. And they like salmon. Yeah, they do. And that's good. That turns out that turned out really good with the um, mm -hmm. lemon juice in it. Yeah, it did. Took the fish out of there. Mm -hmm. Or lemon pepper you could put in it too. That'd be good. Oh yeah, that would have. Yeah, but there's some other like the 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 beans, the can of vegetarian beans. You can and the, that vegetable soup. You could put that in a casserole. Yeah. I mean, my God, give us some noodles or some rice and some. Vegetable soup or, you know, a couple of things. We'd make a meal. Mm -hmm. We could make a feast out of that. What's in there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good. Anyone in the pantry? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, mm. what, we, what, I, what we got on the table, all oh. the government commodities. Oh, yeah. Oh. We, oh, we could make a hell of a feast out of what I got in the pantry. Yeah. But uh, the government commodities, sometimes people aren't sure how to use the stuff. And I know, I don't know if they do it anymore, but they used to, like, five cap. When my mom, I would pick up five cap for her when she was sick, and they would put recipes in there. Yeah. Do they still do that? Yep. Every once in a while, you'll get a recipe in there. Yeah. It was recipe for bran muffins and I, neat stuff. And then you'd have the ingredients in that box to put it together, most mm -hmm. of it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But some people aren't sure how to, you know, make a, make a meal out of some of that stuff. And uh, one, I think one person at one point in time told me that there was nothing significant in that box. It was just a, like a box of junk food. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> if I would have got that when my kids were little, I would have thought oh, it yeah. died and went to heaven. What about you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a, a box of junk food. I don't think so. Yeah, there's there's tuna fish in there. There's canned chicken in there. There's cheese and uh, everything. And everyone's like, well, you get the canned meat. Yeah. The well, beef and pork. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You get that, too. I might get to make hash out of that. Uh-huh. That's good stuff. I have, there's several people in town that I give that to. And, uh, well, at my neighbor, Abby, I give her a lot of the stuff, mm -hmm. too. Well, you guys know that. Yeah. And uh, she's got her parents 
and her grandparents who are all, all four of them are disabled in their this struggle. And she takes it down to them too, which she don't use. I said, don't throw yeah. nothing out. If you don't use it, give it to somebody. But yeah. you know, like that powdered milk in there. Oh my goodness. You could, if you make bread, you could use that in your bread make. And, and bread is so easy. Yeah. If you got flour, salt, yeast and water, you're good to go. Put a little milk in there and you make a nice tender loaf of bread. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but yeah, you can, that ground beef in a can, you could make hamburger gravy with that too. Yeah. And then the pork makes a good barbecue pulled pork. Mm-hmm. And the chicken, you can make a chicken salad. You could use that in, in casseroles. Oh my goodness, friends. I'm telling you, some 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 of the young, and I'm not bashing the young people by any means because we grew up in a different generation. Yeah. Than than what are the young are now. It's it's everything. There's a lot of convenience food now that you didn't have. Oh know. no. <laughs> Dude, we went out to Burger King. That was a treat. <laughs> it wasn't Burger King. It was Burger Chef when I was a little man of steel. Remember? Oh, there was. Yeah, we had Burger Chef too. We had Burger King, Burger Chef, McDonald's. But that was a treat. A and W. We had an A and W in Manistee when we were little. Do you remember that one too? Yep. It was, they'd come on the roller skates, remember? Yep, we right had one the, in Muskegon. Yep, right up to the car window. And I remember every now and then, and it was a treat to go there, because mm-hmm. it wasn't but once maybe every six months. Yep. Mm-hmm. And Easter was just to die for. That was the only time my mother would give us candy was at Easter. <laughs> and man, she'd make a box of candy that'd last you all year round, you know? Mm-hmm. But otherwise, it was, my mother cooked everything from scratch. Yep. She never bought. My mom, it's hilarious because, oh, about 10 years ago or so, she discovered boxed macaroni and cheese. <laughs> she never had boxed macaroni and cheese. And, and the boxed hamburger helper. She always thought it was junk, right? Mm-hmm. I open up her pantry, you know, and I'm putting some of my jarred goods in there for her, my home can mm-hmm. stuff. And she's got about six boxes of macaroni and cheese and a few boxes of hamburger helper. And I'm like, where'd this come from? Oh, I just love that stuff. <laughs> we laughed hard. She, we never had a box of macaroni and cheese. Let me tell you something. I never tasted ham until I was 16 years old. My mother wouldn't eat ham either. I never had ham. Until I, was, I never had a piece of prime rib until I was about 25 26 years old. Oh, and that's me either. I was probably about 30, 40. But yet I had beef steak and kidney pie when I lived at home. Mm. Remember my grandma making head cheese out of the pig head. Oh. Oh, yeah. You didn't say nothing. You just ate it and shut up, didn't no, you? I didn't even eat it. I just said, <laughs> hey, Grandma. I'm See? going to, both grandmas love to just do the hell you, you know. I'm going to the other grandma's. <laughs> she got making head cheese. Isn't that sauce? Oh. Isn't that what they call it, sauce? Mm-hmm. Okay. Never had it. My mom made me try smoked cow tongue one time. I thought I was going to flip over. <laughs> No, nope. but you never said nothing. No. Nope. No, you didn't say nothing because you'd either wind up with a double whammy of it or <laughs> you'd, get, you'd get your ass tan. <laughs> I remember my grandma would get a, boy, she didn't think twice to get a catalpa pot after you. <laughs> no. <laughs> and my dad, he, he, he would always tell you, it don't got to taste good. It's just got to grip you down. <laughs> I didn't ask if you liked it. I put it in front of you to eat. You know, that was something. But there's so much convenience food now, people don't, they're not learning. They took home ec out of school, too. Yeah. So kids aren't learning how to cook from scratch anymore. Nope. And it's, you know, it's people like us that. Anyway, our phone rang and Mr. Rainey come home and forgot what we were talking about. Convenience food. Did your mom make boxed macaroni and cheese when you were little? Yes. Yeah? And hamburger helper? All that? No, it wasn't around when we were little. Huh? Hamburger helper wasn't around when we were oh, little. Oh, yes, it was. Don't you remember seeing it in the stores? Mm-hmm. Well, we didn't get that. <laughs> Neither did we. <laughs> I thought they made them 
when my kids were little. No, that was it. I discovered it, and my kids cried over hamburger helper stroganoff because I was a single father at the time, and they had to eat. I made it every night. <laughs> <laughs> they probably don't like it now. It was quick and easy, but... We never got it. My mother made everything homemade. And then we were talking, wow, what were we talking about? Making stuff out of um, the government commodities. Yeah. Yeah, because one lady told me that that box of food that I had that one day, I showed it, and there was just tons of stuff you could have made meals out of. She said, that's just a box of junk food. Well, they have no imagination. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. There's people that would flip over sideways to get that box oh, of yeah. food. And then we were talking about um, putting together recipes out of, the, you know, the commodities. Yeah. But if I did that, I thought about doing that, but if I did that, then it takes away from somebody who could use it. But they, would, they wouldn't mind it if I made them a ready-made meal. Right. <laughs> you know? So I could do that. Anyway. And Hoover stew. Did your mother ever make mac elbow macaroni with hot dogs and corn and tomatoes and stuff in it? I still eat it. You still eat it? I don't make it. I, I said I would still eat it. Oh, you would still eat it. I should make it sometime then. It feeds a crowd. You do make it all the time. I've never made Hoover stew. You make macaroni and cheese and cut up hot dogs and put in it. Well, that's that's not Hoover stew, but yeah, <laughs> that's like a half a Hoover stew. <laughs> <laughs> Hoover stew. I'll make the other half pretty soon. <laughs> then mix it all together. <laughs> I used to when my kids were little. There was times when I didn't have nothing, but I'd I'd uh, make up some hamburger. <laughs> oh my God. Jonathan. Oh, what am I going to do with you? You're sitting next to it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I noticed you're scooting over <laughs> closer to me. I'm already going to the other room. <laughs> All right, I'll cut that out. All right, now, what was I saying? I can edit that out. Oh, when my kids were little, I would take a hamburger. And I'd always mix it with lentils, though, because then I could make it stretch. But this particular time I didn't. I took hamburger and I made, I didn't have hardly any food, but I made uh, hamburger and noodles and put some, uh, not noodles, elbow macaroni, and put some corn in it. They ate yeah. the heck out of it. You've done that before. Oh, yeah. What's the one you did? Spanish rice. Spanish rice. And some rice, a little bit of hamburger, and some salsa. Do it together. <laughs> yeah. Fed them. Yeah, and they loved it. Mm -hmm. My kids liked the other two. But anyway, we got you. You got eggs for your camping trip. You've got Tara's making kebabs. And then you've got the shepherd pie, but you get you need four nights of meals. You got three, and you're gonna, or you got three. two. No, you only got yeah, because you're going out to dinner once yeah. with, at a friend's. Okay, so you almost need another meal. No, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then we're coming back Monday. Oh, okay. But we could make you blueberries or blueberry muffins. Yeah. Do you want blueberry muffins, or do you want a pan of brownies, or? Well, Elijah would probably want the brownies, but I'd rather have blueberry muffins. I'll make <laughs> the blueberry muffins. I can make some, we can make some jumbo blueberry muffins. Do you want jumbo or regular size? Jumbo. Jumbo. Those would be good. Mm -hmm. I got the paper that the house I'll grab and the blueberries. Yeah, she's got dried blueberries. We'll use dried blue. I got fresh blue, or, well, fresh mm -hmm. blueberries in the freezer frozen blueberries but she's got the dried ones and those will work nicely in that I could make you a small bit I could make a small thing of brownies 
Oh no, you took all my eggs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's got to say, how many dozen did you wait get? Wait till tomorrow, though, you have another five dozen all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot of eggs. You won't need eggs for a while. No. Well, that's what we could do. We could do that. But anyway, friends, we're going to get off here. We were just yakking and having our coffee. You hadn't seen Tracy in a while. And Mr. Wayne is real quiet over there at the other end of the table. <laughs> <laughs> But boy, we can tell you stories of what we ate when we were little. Oh, yeah. Let it smell. But I never went to bed hungry, did you? Nope. Venison and fish. Mm hmm. Venison? Oh, yeah. I liked venison. We had that when we were, I was little. But I wasn't so poor until I moved out of home. <laughs> My parents were, they, they were okay. And, uh, we basically ate whatever they wanted, you know. But when I moved away from home, I moved from the rich side of the street right across the ditch to the poor <laughs> yeah, to the poor side of town. <laughs> I've lived on both sides of that. Now I right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I went from one extreme to the other. Oh man, I've been on both sides of that road. Mm -hmm. But that's. Like John always says, that builds character. Yeah. Yep. When you look back, you know, when you were younger, you think everything I know now is because of what I went through when I was young. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, the young people now, they really do have it lucky. They do. We didn't have dollar stores. We didn't have a dollar oh, store. No, my mom would have just loved the dollar store. Oh my God, my mother too. We didn't have any no. dollar stores. There was nothing for a dollar. Nope. Nothing like that. No Dollar General, Family Dollar, nothing. Remember the five and dime up here one time, but that was way back when I was a little kid. Yeah, they didn't have internet when we were little. Oh, no. We had, we had <laughs> no three, Amazon. We had three stations. Is that why we're Amazon junkies now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, we didn't have the internet, no cell phones, no movie, no nothing, no videotape, no nothing. Your your curfew was when the streetlights went out. Yeah, you had better be home. Yep, that was it. Don't call my for a ride either. Oh, no. neither. No. You got left at school. You walked home. <laughs> yep. You walked to town. You can walk your happy yep. rear end back home. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. The days. That seemed like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? Many times I've walked home from school. Most of the time it was just because I wanted to and didn't want to ride the bus, but... Right. Me too. I smoked. So I get to smoke my cigarettes on my home because yeah. my mom didn't know about it. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, uh, but I lived two miles from the school, so I didn't have that far of a walk. No, mine was about a little over a mile, probably. And if I wanted to go to the ball game, I had to walk to town, whether it was snowing or not. Mm -hmm. I didn't... Yeah, in the summertime, I was on my bike all the time, but... I used to ride my bike to the store because I didn't know how to make a homemade cake <laughs> when I was little. Right. And they did have the box cake, the box cakes then, and the frosting, the tubs of frosting. Oh. So I'd go, and I knew how to make those. <laughs> my mother didn't bake. She hated to bake. My grandmother, on the other hand, baked. But I was only about seven, eight, nine years old. Yeah. And I could make a box cake at that young. And I used to ride my bike all the way to town to Kenny's Market and get... Uh, Chocolate cake mix and fudge frosting. <laughs> I'd go home and make that cake. Yep. That was funny. I But I've been cooking since I was little. Me too. Mm-hmm. Always. You took the cooking over and I'm out and did the dishes. I didn't like doing dishes. No, nope, I did. <laughs> we had no dishwasher. We did. We had a dishwasher. No. But my mother was real funny about stuff like that. You had to wash the dishes first. Mm-hmm. And then put them in there. Yeah. yeah what's the sense? <laughs> you know? But I, no, I had to do dishes. There was no, my mother didn't no. do dishes. My mom didn't like cooking, so I took over the cooking and she did the dishes. <laughs> there you go. My mom taught me how to cook and clean, so once I learned it, it was all on me. <laughs> <laughs> She'd come home from work and I'd have dinner already. And then the, as I got older, my, my mom's mom, taught me how to bake and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. 
and my aunts that would come around and oh man I could put on a meal when I got older so anyway we're gonna go we got little Miss Susie coming to show us her new car yeah and it's raining so we can't do nothing outside we get the rest of the day off I'll make, while you go to town, you got to go to town, I'll make yeah. you some jumbo blueberry muffins. I'll we'll do a video them. on it. I'll go grab them things for you then. Yeah, I'll make a video on jumbo blueberry muffins. Mr. Wayne would like one too. Mr. Wayne has got a full belly. He's only thinking about one thing. A nap. <laughs> he gets his belly full and goes to sleep. Why not? It's raining out. Mm -hmm. Why does it, the rain always makes you tired? It does. Isn't that something? Always make you tired. Lady day. day. Yeah. Well, I could utilize this day and work in my pantry. and There's there's a lot of things I could do in the house. But anyway, for now, we're going to go. Thanks for hanging out with us in, in our little coffee clutch, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that what they call it? Is that what you used to call me, Rio? Uh, my grandma is and, and for any bananas, it was always a coffee clutch. You all have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. See you later.